Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff, and this is your CL Moment. Today, I want to talk to you about faith and identity, especially during these days and times where the world has tried to identify with everything outside of what the Word of God says. But let me tell you today, your identity in Christ is the most vitally important thing that we can actually make sure that we are walking on with. In 1 Peter, the first chapter, verse 23 says this, For you have been born again, but not to the life which quickly ends, for your new life which lasts forever because it comes from the eternal living word of God. What does that mean? That I am born again, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for apart from God's purpose, for God's purpose. For we are a masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do all the things that he plans us from long ago. And that's in Ephesians, the second chapter, verse uh, the second chapter, verse 10. This is the most important thing that we need to understand regarding the process of, of growing in faith. Is this that no matter what it is, it is a process and we have to walk this thing out. Right. So in Ephesians, the first chapter, verse uh, three through six says this. Blessed be the God, our father, Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us from every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, listen, it is this is the most important piece of it. He chose us. He has chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before his love, having predestined us to adoption as sons and daughters by Christ Jesus to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which we are made accepted by the beloved. So we are beloved. So we have to be able to understand this. If we do not see ourselves in Christ Jesus, then the devil is going to start throwing darts at you. He's going to start telling you who you are, worthless, loser, uh, depressed, whatever it may be of the world. Look, you're not that. What you have to do is take the word of God and, and apply it to yourself, and this is how faith is going to grow. And then as soon as you know your identity, I'm telling you right now, you can, man, you can speak to the mountain and it will be moved. So I take it like this. I ask God, God, who am I? And he takes me right directly to his word. He says, I am the creator and you are my creation. I breathed uh, into your nostril the breath of life. And that's in Genesis 2 and 7. I created you in my own image, Genesis 1 and 2 and 127. My eyes saw you unformed um, substance in Psalms 139 and 16 and so on and so on. There is so much in the word of God that tells you who you are in Christ Jesus. So once you understand that, then your faith could grow from there. You have the authority. You have a place and position of where um, pretty much you can walk in, in, out this thing, especially right now during this time where COVID is getting in, there's lockdowns, wherever it may be. You out there in the marketplace, people may be depressed. Look, you as a, a, a believer in Christ Jesus, you have the power and the authority to go out there and lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You, are, you have the authority to speak to those things and they will be ha um, happening. So the identity in Christ is direct result of the faith in Christ and that faith trust should continue through your Christian life. Jesus said this, if you love me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him and I will come to him and make my home in him. And that's John 14, 23. I'm telling you right now, stay fast, stay in the word and know who your identity is and watch your faith go. Hey, this is your CM moment and I'm Pastor Jeff.